Ooh, there's iron. If I could get that iron improved, we'd have a... Ooh. Yeah, actually, I, I would appreciate that. Having an embassy would let me see your capital. Okay, so Copenhagen. Probably said that completely wrong. He's located way over here, and he has a jungle star, so he's going to have a bit of a hard time catching up. He does have crabs, though, um, which can either be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the type of crab. He's probably sailed around the coast. I could probably take Arhis without incurring his wrath, because he'd have to go through Rome and through the fucking Aztecs in order to get to me. So yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to burn Arhis to the ground, because it's not in a... Eh, fuck it. I'll, I'll probably keep the city, actually. I'll probably fucking keep it in, um... Just keep it there. It'll miss out on this one resource, but it will have water access, which will be very good for trade, and it'll get the bonus for... You know, being next to a river, which is fine with me. It's close enough that I'll, I'll keep it. Uh, well, someone's getting the first religion, and it's not me. Luckily, the AI's stupid. They don't usually go for tithe. I really hope they don't go for tithe this time, because I'm going for tithe. Because who doesn't go for tithe if it's presented to them as an option? It's literally the best fucking thing in the entire game. Let's go for theology. Let's, let's catch up with these fuckers. In four turns, we'll have the Hanging Gardens, and we should be pretty good. Turn 100. And you only have 32 science. Apparently, you know, who would have guessed that Sweden was among the world's most, you know, progressive people? I would never guess that. Turns out Sweden in the past was just like Sweden in the present. Super progressive. Mumbai desires salt. Well, I wish I could help you, Mumbai, but I really can't. Oh, shit. Um, sure, we'll accept embassies. It'll at least improve our relations. Poor Aztecs. Poor fucking Aztecs. Always spawning in the fucking jungles. I feel sorry for them. They had to expand quickly with as many cities as possible because, you know, cutting down jungles is just literally Hitler. Well, in one turn, I should be... Yep, there we go. We got it. Yes. So, Delhi has now grown. I could go for Parthenon. That might be good. It's only plus four culture, whereas the Oracle is plus three. Uh, or we could go for the Great Wall. Great Wall generates engineering points, which actually might be good, especially since we're surrounded by warmongers, it's probably a good idea. It'll, it'll at least incentivize them not to attack us immediately, instantly. I don't usually go for the Great Wall, but the circumstance circumstance seems to imply it's a good idea at the very least. Anything to give myself an advantage over these assholes is preferable. And there we go, we got Monarchy. I just got an achievement. I guess because I've never played in single player, I don't get achievements. That's great. Yeah, I kind of noticed that, actually. I don't actually have any of the achievements in this game. I don't know why. Uh, this is still on production focus. I'm going to keep it there. I think its growth rate has become stable. It's growing faster than all the other civilizations, which is one of the reasons I actually like going for the gardens, because it actually... Oh, it's a good thing I didn't start the Pantheon. Yeah, fuck, good thing and start it. Been fucked. I would have just lost a turn of production there. A whole turn. A whole, like, what is it, 30 seconds. Oh, that would have been awful. Yes, and we actually have some gold, so I'm actually going to buy another worker in Delhi, and we'll just do it that way. Buy worker. Because 310 for a worker? It's not the number I'm used to. I don't know if multiplayer, cha uh, multiplayer changes or if my host changes things in the option settings. It's possible that he does. But usually that, that's pretty high for a worker. Okay, well, we're gonna, we can still afford it, so we're just gonna start building things. I'm gonna get him supported by a, a guard because that's a $300 worker and I'd rather not lose him to some random barbarian camp. Or to Sweden, who is curiously enough scouting our border continuously. We got theology. Yes, we've reached the medieval era. Ah, the medieval era. A time period everyone loves. 
Like, everyone. I mean, it's just without exception. It's a great time to live, obviously. Just dying constantly in war sounds good to me. I'm gonna go for civil service, and I'm actually gonna rush for education. I'm gonna get education so I can keep my lead in technology, which I hopefully haven't lost. No, I've not lost it. Good. Excellent. Our path to world domination is clear. When Gandhi has tanks and the rest of the world is still using cavalry, you'll know. Okay, well, this is going okay. Honestly, this isn't the best game I've ever played. It's not the best game I've ever done. It's actually going... Oh, okay, you'll you'll want to give me horses. Listen, um, and, you know that's a good deal and all. I'll, f fine, I'll accept it. Fine, I'll kind of want at least someone on my side, and if that someone has to be Sweden, it has to be fucking Sweden. There we go. Hopefully, we don't get killed soon. It's possible that we will, though. It is very, very possible. Okay, get this ranch up. You're almost done with the farm over there. I need to fill out all these squares. Um, no more hills are in my territory. It kind of sucks. I need to buy... I could buy a hill. So once I get my money back up, I could probably buy one. That would at least save me... The time of having to wait for culture to take it, which it's probably not going to. Uh, let's see. Let's go for a granary. So we can get some nice food production going. As you can see, Delhi is growing pretty fast. I am a bit concerned about this border growth around me, though. I do. I just feel so constricted into this single place. It's not a good feeling. I'm definitely going to need to do some early warmonger if I'm going to sort this out. I do only have myself to blame because I didn't do early expansion, but... You know what? Uh, look at Delhi. Look at Delhi. Literally the centerpiece of the world. It's the top of the cake here. Top of the cake. Fucking sitting right up there. It's the second six turns, it'll be a size 10. That alone makes my strategy worth it, at least in my opinion. And if it means that we have to go to war... It means we're gonna go to fucking war. That's what I'll do to expand. And Arhis, you will be my first target in my world plan for domination, which I, I still haven't really concocted yet, but it, trust me, it's coming! And when it comes, you'll never see it! It's like the Spanish Inquisition. You'll never see it coming. The Statue of Zeus say... What does that do? Let me see. What does that? What actually does that do? I never go for it, so. Ah no! Oh shit! Well, that that's not a good sign. Hey, um, uh, Julius Caesar or whatever your name is, Augustus Caesar. Do you you want to trade anything with me? I'd love to trade with you. No. Okay. He's, gonna, he's totally coming to attack us. He's even got a scout in our lands looking at our shit. He's fucking licking his lips. He's fucking licking his fucking lips. He wants to take our kingdom. Well, that's all the reason I need to militarize. Once the Great Wall is done, we should probably start production of some kind of defensive force. Um, probably just going to start off with crossbowmen or composite bowmen, whatever is available at the time. I don't think I have um, crossbowmen yet. Shit, uh, apparently Catholicism was founded. Yeah. What does it have? Let's see. What do they steal from us? From the great Gandhi? They stole church property, which, you know, isn't isn't the worst thing they could have taken, to be fair. Yeah, fucking hell. Okay, we definitely... We're losing the religious game, though that's not surprising. Because we're not... I don't really go with a religious focus. I, a game doesn't really rely on religion. Religion's a good money maker for me, but it's not the one go to be all solution. I usually go for a science game, and as many of you know, when in terms of going for a science victory, there is no room for religion. And that is going to be taken way out of proportion. Oh 
oh, hey, we got a trade route coming to us. Sweet. So that means the Aztecs like us. Or they're going to be less likely to attack us because they're kind of reliant on us for their income. Which, in my book, is a good thing. We now have this built. Is there anything else? <sighs> Maybe I can squeeze in a Riders Guild. Maybe. Uh, it's only seven turns. I'm going to try to squeeze it in just so I can get some extra culture generation and actually compete with some of these other guys. But I do need to get military units. I really do. I'm going to squeeze in the Great Library, and I'm going to start, after that, start producing... Oh, not the Great Library. Start squeezing in the Writer's Guild. And then I'm going to start producing a somewhat feasible army. I don't think Julius is going to attack immediately, because yeah, I say that, he's probably going to. Shit. I don't even know. I don't know. Should I actually should I actually get the Riders Guild first? Should, I don't feel safe. So, because I don't feel safe, I am going to start building up some composites. And we can just come back to this, to the guild later. We can sacrifice a little culture growth, because we have plenty of wonders. I think we actually probably have one of the highest culture growths in the game, maybe? We don't have all the social policies. There's fucking Augustus Caesar, or... Augustus Adolfo over here, whatever his name is. He has a lot more than I do. He's like top of the score. I'm bo oh, shit. The Aztecs are getting swordsmen out. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to switch over to our archers. Oh, hey. Maybe, maybe he's not going to attack us immediately. Maybe. You see... Gandhi might seem like a pussy now, but yes, you wait, Rome. Uh, it's fucking coming for you. Once they get this archer done, we'll be safe. Hopefully, maybe. Uh, let's see. What do I want to go with? A library wouldn't be very useful right now. That would give us two science per turn, so I kind of want to hold off on that. Let's get a defensive wall, because I'm fearing attack. So I should probably start gearing up our, you know, borders essentially. We want to have our cities protected as much as possible. It's taking a while for this turn to process. Whoa, the people who like shiny things the most. Of course I like shiny things. Why wouldn't I? Okay, so... Uh, apparently I'm doing pretty well in terms of gold, which is not unsurprising. Well, yeah, it's not unsurprising. Honestly, I'm surprised I'm doing that well in gold. Given the fact that I'm only making 11 gold per turn, the fact that I somehow have one of the highest amounts, you know, one of the highest treasuries, is a kind of a big surprise. <sighs> I'm still concerned about Rome. Hopefully this composite... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Come on, you can come through my territory. If it, if, if I start seeing armies, though, I might close my borders on you. Maybe. Oh, a golden age is done. Sweet. So we actually have a golden age now, which means we're going to be producing a lot more shit than we used to. I'm going to start building up my military. I'm going to start getting defensive units spawning from Delhi. I'm going to send it over to Mumbai. Set up some defenses there. I'm probably going to need to get a road connection soon. Oh, shit. The world can be cruel. Only with the assistance of others can we overcome it. Shall we announce to the world our declaration of friendship? Yes, let us work together. Alright. So, we're actually working with the assholes we're going to be attacking. Which isn't the worst thing. I hope it didn't piss Caesar off. 